light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand where it gives light to everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. Grant us, O God, the lamp of charity which never fails, that it may burn in us and shed its light on those around us, and that by, by its brightness we may have a vision of that holy city where dwells the true and never failing light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us speak together the words of the hymn, O Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, pure brightness in the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for evening prayer tonight is parts of Psalm 119. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I trust in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes that I may not be put to shame. My soul has longed for your salvation. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise and I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a leather flask in the smoke, but I have not forgotten your statutes. How much longer must I wait? When will you give judgment against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with lies. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your commandments. 
In your loving kindness, revive me that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness remains from one generation to another. You establish the earth and it abides. By your decree, these continue to this day for all things are your servants. If my delight had not been in your law, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments because by them you give me life. I am yours. Oh, that you would save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lie in wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see that all things come to an end, but your commandment has no bounds. A reading from Luke. Now Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, there are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, you hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, who Satan bound for 18 long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said all this, his opponents were put to shame. And the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things he was doing. This ends the reading. On our last night of our season of prayer for an election, let us read together the prayer designated for November 4th as we pray for our own work for the common good. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you declare your glory and show forth your handiwork in the heavens and in the earth. Deliver us in our various occupations from the service of self alone, that we may do the work you give us to do in truth and beauty and for the common good, for the sake of him who came among us as one who serves your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our canticle for this evening is a song of God's love. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was revealed among us, that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through Jesus Christ. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his son that sins might be forgiven. Beloved, since God loved us so much, 
we ought also to love one another. For if we love one another, God abides in us, and God's love will be perfected in us. Let us read responsively the litany with the congregation responding with the bold type. O Lord, our governor, bless the leaders of our land that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations on earth. Lord, keep this nation under your care. To the president and members of the cabinet, to governors of states, mayors of cities, and to all in administrative authority, grant wisdom and grace in the exercise of their duties. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To senators and representatives and those who make our laws in states, cities, and towns, Give courage, wisdom, and foresight to provide for the needs of all our people and to fulfill our obligations in the community of nations. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To the judges and officers of our courts, give understanding and integrity that human rights may be safeguarded and justice served. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. And finally, teach our people to rely on your strength and to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens, that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name. For yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted above all. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.